Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather in this Eucharistic celebration, this first Saturday of the month, in memory of St. Boniface, a bishop and missionary who was sent so that the church could be healed and renewed. In this celebration, let us also ask the Lord for His grace of healing, not only physically but the healing of our whole person, so that God's healing may manifest in our day-to-day -day lives. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the martyr Saint Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood and confidently profess it by our deeds. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Tobit. Tobit called his son Tobiah and said to him, Son, see to it that you give what is due to the man who made the journey with you. Give him a bonus too. So he called Raphael and said, Take as your wages half of all that you have brought back and go in peace. Raphael called the two men aside privately and said to them, Thank God. Give him the praise and the glory. Before all the living, acknowledge the many good things he has done for you by blessing and extolling his name in song. Honor and proclaim God's deeds and do not be slack in praising him. A king's secret it is prudent to keep, but the works of God are to be declared and made known. Praise them with due honor. Do good and evil will not find its way to you. Prayer and fasting are good, but better than either is almsgiving accompanied by righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than abundance with wickedness. It is better to give alms than to store up gold, for almsgiving saves one from death and expiates every sin. Those who regularly give alms shall enjoy a full life, but those habitually guilty of sin are their own worst enemies. I will now tell you the whole truth. I will conceal nothing at all from you. I have already said to you, a king's secret it is prudent to keep, but the works of God are to be made known with due honor. I can now tell you that when you, Tobit and Sarah prayed, it was I who presented and read the record of your prayer before the glory of the Lord. And I did the same thing when you used to bury the dead. When you did not hesitate to get up and leave your dinner in order to go and bury the dead, I was sent to put you to the test. At the same time, however, God commissioned me to heal you and your daughter-in-law, Sarah. I am Raphael, one of the seven angels who enter and serve before the glory of the Lord. So now get up from the ground and praise God. Behold, I am about to ascend to him who sent me. Write down all these things that have happened to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld. And he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed be God who lives forever. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. Blessed be God who lives forever. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you, his chosen ones, and may all of you praise his majesty, celebrate days of gladness, and give him praise. Blessed be God who lives forever. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and as a pretext recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money in the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we close our reflection on the book of Tobit for maybe some of you who have been celebrating the daily masses with us you will notice that every day this week we have been hearing from the book of tobit in the old testament and today we close this beautiful story of the family of tobit with raphael revealing to them that he is not just an ordinary man he is not just an ordinary companion. In fact, he was one of the seven angels. This is the book in the Bible where we hear the name of Archangel Raphael. He revealed himself to them as an angel sent by God. And the meaning of the name Raphael means God has healed. Nagpagaling ang Panginoon. And this shows us that God does not only send His protection, God does not only send His messengers, to bring good news to us but he sends us his angels for healing God sends healing our way and so my dear brothers and sisters today we are reminded of this fact by the fact of the name angel Raphael meaning God has healed he sends healing to all of us. And in the story of the family of Tobit, the angel Raphael did not just bring physical healing, but he brought healing to the whole person. The 
ang pagpapagaling na dala ni Rafael ay hindi lamang pagpapagaling mula sa sakit ng katawan, kundi pagpapagaling ng buong katauhan, pagpapagaling ng kanilang pamilya. If we will go back earlier in the book of Tobit, we will see that in the beginning, Tobit and his wife, they were quarreling. Nagkakaroon ng problema ang kanilang marriage. And that is one of the many aspects of healing brought by the angel Raphael. He was able to heal their marriage. Hindi lang niya pinagaling ang sakit ni Tobit, ang kanyang katarata sa mata, pinagaling ang kanilang buhay mag-asawa. We also see in the story that the son of Tobit, Tobiah, and his wife, Sarah, at first they were afraid to get married. But Raphael was sent by God to heal it. And so later on, they got married. Their fear of marriage was removed and healed by Raphael. Healing brought by God extends not only to our physical well-being, but for the well-being of the different aspects of our life. God wants to heal the whole person. That is why in our gospel today, Jesus also tries to heal how we are able to live our faith. Sinubukan ni Jesus na pagalingin at ayusin kung paanong isinasabuhay ang pananampalataya. Jesus said in our gospel today, the scribes, the teachers of the law at that time, they were focused too much on being noticed. So, they will recite prayers in front of people so that they will get noticed. They will donate big amount of money to the church, to the temple, so that they will be praised. That Jesus tried to correct and heal. And he said, look at the poor widow who was giving her small donation. That is the correct way of giving. Not just donating large sums to be praised, but donating your everything in the silence of your heart. Sinubukan ni Jesus itama, ayusin, pagalingin. Ano yung pagkakamali ng pagsasabuhay ng pananampalataya? Pagdarasal, pagbibigay ng tulong sa templo, hindi para mapansin, hindi para purihin, kundi para purihin ang Diyos. Ibigay sa Diyos ang ating nakayanan. Today also, my dear brothers and sisters, we remember Saint Boniface, a missionary of the church. He was sent by the Pope to Germany. And he was called the Apostle of Germany because at that time, there were problems in the church in Germany. And he was the bishop who healed and renewed the church in that place. And because of him, the church grew in that area. My dear brothers and sisters, God reminds us today that He is sending us healing along the way. What are the different parts of your life that need 
healing right now. It may be not just physical healing, it may be healing in your family, healing within your person, healing within our relationships with each other, healing in our hearts and in our minds. Let us ask the Lord to send us healing so that He could heal the whole person. He could heal the whole community. Kailangan po natin ito ngayon, ang kagalingan, hindi lamang po ng sakit ng katawan, kundi lalo na ng sakit na pinagdaraanan ng ating pamayanan. The other day, siguro po, napanood po ninyo sa balita yung uh, yung pulis na pumaslang ng isang nanay sa harapan ng kanyang mga kamag-anak. Parang bata pa nga yata yung nakakita. How can you heal a young person seeing her mother being shot by a policeman? How wounded is that young person? How can she ever trust a policeman again? How can we trust anyone again if a person, a policeman, who is a trust, who should be a trusted man, was able to kill someone point blank in front of your family? We need healing. Not only healing from COVID-19, our country needs healing. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, God sends us the angel Raphael, his name meaning God has healed. Let us ask God to bring us healing along the way. And let us ask Him to heal not only our bodies, but to heal every aspect of our person, of our community. Let us beg the Lord for this grace because we are truly in need of healing. Amen. Please stand. We have one Father in heaven and one teacher, His only Son. Let us come to our Father praying for all His children on earth. For every petition, let us say, Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer that those ordained to the sacred ministry may be faithful and sincere to their commitments to God and to the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of the, the poor, poor, listen to our prayer. That those in public office may offer their best in serving the people rather than their selfish interests. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. That the humility of Christ may pierce the pride and pretense of people who think highly of themselves. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. That we may receive divine revelation in all its living power as God's message and not merely as human thinking. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. 
that the dead may find their peace in the risen Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of, of the, the poor, poor listen, listen to our, our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. God and Father of all peoples, we bring before you the needs of those who know you and those who have never heard your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of Blessed Boniface, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now do. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Boniface, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed Boniface never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.